Hi everyone, my name is Marco and in this video I'm going to show you how I transcribe music for guitar. So I'm going to talk about the process and the tools that I use. I was watching this video where Tim and Pete Thorne are playing together a great short song and I love the jokes about tabs they had right after the song they performed so I thought I could do the tabs for real and use them as an example for this video. In the description you can find a link to download the tabs and the guitar profile that includes drums and bass for free. So the first part of my process is listening to the full song at least once. As I listen I figure out what is the best way to transcribe the performance and do a few considerations. For example, with this particular song this is the step where I decided to create a transcription that matches what you see on the screen. So I'm thinking of notating a single guitar part that alternates between rhythm and lead and between theme and pit, depending on what you see on the screen. Basically, a single guitar part that sums up a bit of everything. Then I load the file on this software called Transcribe and I manually put markers for every bar and every beat. I'm literally doing that as I listen to the song by using key commands. Transcribe has a lot of functions like slowing down the audio and so on, but I usually use them only if necessary. So a normal speed playback is what I listen to for most of the time. The software I use to do the actual writing is Guitar Pro. If the song I'm transcribing comes from a client that I worked for in the past, I usually start from a template that I prepared in advance. The template contains the name of the composer, his website and other things. I'm transcribing tabs for Tim and his Guitar Academy since a while now, so I started with his template. The first thing I set on the score is the tempo. I play the song and find the BPM by using a metronome or the Guitar Pro metronome. I tap the tempo first and then I refine manually the amount. If the sync between the metronome and the song doesn't vary for 20 or 30 seconds, it means that the BPM is accurate. After that, I find the key center of the song and add the key signature to the score. By watching the chords and scales that Tim and Pete use, it's pretty clear that they are playing in the key of E. But as soon as you pick up the guitar and play an E chord, you realize that the sound coming from their guitars is actually an E flat. For this reason, I'm going to use a key signature of E because that's what they are thinking and indicate at the top of the score that the guitar should be tuned down half step. At this point, what I do is simply listening to the performance one bar at a time, transcribe it and move to the next bar. For example, let me start from scratch with this bar that Tim is playing. Depending on the complexity of the bar, I may need to listen to it once, or twice, or ten times. And let me do one more bar where Pete is playing this time. Mm. 
Lots of listening goes into just checking that what I inserted is correct. When all the guitar part is done, I insert the chord's name. And if the client wants to see diagrams as well, I put diagrams at the top of the score. This particular performance is based on lead playing, so I don't think there's a particular need to show diagrams. I decided for having the names only. At this point, I usually listen to the full song again a couple of times and I make sure everything is correct. I manually sync Guitar Pro with the original performance and I listen to both running at the same time. If there's any note that needs to be fixed, this is a good way to spot it. Okay, it sounds like everything is correct, so the very last and easy step is to export the file to PDF and Guitar Pro file, and we are done. So thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this brief explanation of the basic steps that I do when I have to approach a transcription. Thanks and see you soon.